Um, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use uh, lots, um, lookup tables in real, and how to apply them on your video games, uh, cinematics, whatever you create, uh, will create in Unreal, right? This is uh, basically works on any version, like older, you know, if you have like version 4 or version 5, doesn't matter, it works um, everywhere. Uh, it's just basically uh, drag and drop files, so you will not have any problems. And um, you probably want to say how to apply uh, those lots in your scene. And first of all, I have a, the file here. Uh, it's just a post-process file, um, post-process volume file, which is right over here in the type level. But if you're gonna like create from the scratch from, um, or you, if you have a beyond scene, it's just fairly easy. Just go here, like quick add to the project and then go to uh, visual effects and post process volume okay um, I will not create the second one because I have already and it's just you can see it's just the same thing right I will remove it for now uh, I just don't need it um, okay so you will create the apply volume and the quicker uh, way to just adjust something here or just uh, or find something here just to type in our case we will use lots so just put uh, in the search bar uh, the lot and you're gonna see that this is a cold grading color grading lot and you're gonna see this is like effect here and in these folders you will have like a lot of them a lot of them for any you know like possible ways I create them um, during the years I use them everywhere like basically the, those like awesome lots I grade them every single project I work on so I hope you like them anyway um, it's just easy you can see this is just like a preview and you just drag and drop here and you you will immediately see the effect um, for this, for this one, you probably need to adjust lightning a bit, um, maybe like, um, maybe intensity or something. Just go ahead and just slow down intensity. Um, yeah, and you're gonna see the effect. Uh, I will provide this um, rover uh, for you, like exper for your experiment, so you will have it for free. And you know, just just to see the difference if you have if you don't have a scene or you just want to play around with the lots okay um try a different one as i said like uh, you you just you just basically drag and drop and you will see different result right it's like completely faded just like a bit darker it depends on your mood but most of the time it's not like dramatically changing the scene because i don't like it but you know, if you're using like uh, something, mm, something just visually appealing in a game, it's just like okay, um, this is like boosting colors. But most of the time, it's just like sl uh, sudden effect, sudden visual effect. So you can find something specific for your, for your taste. And keep in mind, this is not just um, just adjusting the scene. It's all adjust uh, all as well as the lighting so you just maybe just play around with the lighting scene in your scene so um yeah and second thing keep in mind the scalability here factors really de depends so you just if you work in a post-production level so you completed done with your scene just go in, with the cinematic level so you can see the um, exact preview of um, you know of your scene so you, you will have like a clear visual appearance this one is cool i mean not all of them just uh, suit for um exact scene but for modern games you're gonna you're gonna see this uh, kind of a lot yeah, a lot um yeah just play with this one 
Okay, um, I hope you find this really helpful for you. This is easy to apply. Uh, as I said, uh, you just not only adjust uh, maybe lightning or something, make it darker or um, brighter, it depends. It depends on you see and make it uh, just like a dark one, right? Or um, exposure, condensation, and uh, atmosphere as well. So um, yeah, play around. I hope you have fun. Hope you have fun.